So what do you do when you have a friend that's been the victim of crime and wants to get a handgun but has never shot a handgun before? So you got to go ahead and familiarize them with the various types of handguns, kind of give them information, but do it all safely and have a good time at the range with them because firing the guns gives them a good chance to see what guns are all about and and it's got to be a pleasurable but safe experience. So we start by doing some work at the home. What Linda has is a Glock Model 34. So let's let her tell you about it. Well, I'm just going to check. Woo! I popped out my magazine, <laughs> the magazine. <laughs> it popped out, out, of, out of there. <laughs> quickly. Surprised you, yeah. Quickly. Okay. So now I need to check the... Oh, wow. These are hard. <laughs> <laughs> I... Don't think if I had my if I could use my right hand, I would be all right. Remember the push, push pull? Yeah, that, I'm trying to do that, but it doesn't. Uh... There. <laughs> I think this isn't the gun for me, Steve. <laughs> okay, I guess so. <laughs> well, it turns out that the Glock Model 34 was a little bit challenging for Linda because of the size of the grip frame and also the difficulty in manipulating the slide in order to charge the pistol but she got all the other handling down pretty well I think she'll be able to enjoy shooting this at the range we'll set it up for her and then I let her know that if she likes the Glock platform they have smaller frames and the 380 calibers that could very well be what she's looking for if she wants to go with the semi-automatic Glock platform so the handling and the safety features of dropping the magazine, checking for loaded condition, being able to load it, she got that okay. So I think she'll be fine to enjoy this pistol at the range. Okay, now Linda's going to shoot the 9mm Glock Model 34. And we've gone over the basics of how to make the gun safe how to load the magazine, how to go ahead and shoot and use the sights. And we're gonna be using the white box Winchester 115 grain full metal jackets. Linda's got the hang of using the Maglula. Can you say that, Maglula? Magnula. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a new dance. Let's do the Maglula. Do you think Arturo would like doing the Maglula? I think he would. <laughs> yeah, let, no, let, let go. Let, let go of this. There you go. Now go up the top. Now push down. Oops. Oh, you didn't put it in. Wait. And Linda's going to be shooting on the B-27 target at uh, just a hair under five yards. So here's the clock in action. So I think um, all of us can consider that as pretty good shooting there. Linda's not quite Annie Oakley, but I think you got some of that blood in you. Anyway, what do you think about the Glock? I like it. It was actually really easy to handle and to fire. Um, if I could just get a smaller one that I can actually uh, check the chamber, that would be perfect. You know, they make semi-automatic pistols that are smaller for a 380 caliber cartridge that's just a little smaller than a 9 millimeter and it's a smaller gun with the springs are easier to, to work so that you could 
you could really like a 380 pistol. This happens to be a 9 millimeter. So, I mean, what do you think now about the semi-automatic as opposed to the double action revolver? I like the double action revolver, but the semi-automatic is much easier for me to shoot. You want to shoot another 10? Yeah. Okay. That'd be great. There you go. Just hold those sights on the target and then press that trigger. You got it. Look at that. They're just going right in there. Yep, they're all going right in there. Yep, hold those sights right on target, press the trigger. Yep, that was an X-ring hit. That was the X-ring hit, the same hole as the last one. Well, that was in there too, 